Uh, I got a comment here from a woman and she said, if she's pulling away because she found out that you're also flirting around and you're only flirting with her underground, then playing all these mirror of coldness is a direct ticket to the grave. Most of the time we women pulled away because we found out something about you that isn't attractive. So you are better off to be self-aware and pull your stuff together and initiate to speak to her instead of mirroring pull away, thinking this is a game or test. Now I responded to this woman and I said that, you know, more often than not, guys are, it's, it's not a situation of like, you know, guys are flirting with you underground and then flirting with like other women overground. Like there are times where that happens where like, you know, you might be ashamed, for example, of that, that you're talking to a particular girl and you don't want your friends to know. So you're flirting with her, but you're not letting the world know. But more, I told her more often than not, that's not the case. More often than not, what's happening is the woman's starting to back off and then the guy needs to realize, oh, I'm not being patient. I'm showing too much intensity. And so I need to also like acquiesce a little bit and give her time to herself, okay? But I point out this woman's comment because this is an important lesson for you, guy, is that she says right here, um, most of the time, Women pull away because we found out something about you that isn't attractive. And you might be thinking to yourself, how is that possible? It's called the internet. If you, in this day and age, don't think that a woman's not getting your full name to be able to then research you online to see what you're about, you're mistaken. The reality is that women, for their own safety, are going to get your name. They're going to type it into that search engine. They're going to look up your Facebook, your Instagram, your TikTok. They're looking to see if you have any problematic posts, if you've talked about women bad in the past, if you have any exes that are maybe still in your past that she doesn't know about. If there's pictures of you with like three or four other girls, she's going to look at to see if you've commented on, if you're like, say, following other women on Instagram that are hot that you're trying to leave comments for them. Like women are going to do their full due diligence and research. And so, yes, you need to know and understand that women are going to do this. And you need to clean up your social media or be able to at least block her off it so she can't see it during the dating phase because women are going to see stuff about you and they're not going to have contacts. For example, there might be a picture of you, for example, with your arm around a woman and you're really hugged and tight with her. That might be your cousin. She has no context for that. She doesn't know that. All she knows is she sees you get really chummy with a girl, but you just were on a date with me and what does this mean, blah, blah, blah. And she can start slowly pulling away because in the dating phase, this is unfair to say, guys, but in the dating phase, women aren't always apt to ask you a lot of questions. Like they've had enough experience with guys in the past where they're going to go off their own path. So if she dated four guys where she clicked on their Facebook and saw them with their arm around another girl, and then she found out later that actually was an ex-girlfriend that they were still hooking up with, and then she comes to you, all her history has told her is that this means that you are probably still with this other woman and she needs to be out, no questions asked. And that's horrible. So Make sure your social media and stuff and your online presence is in proper order, just like you would do for a job. If you're going in for a job interview, the first thing you probably do is clean up everything about your social media. So if your job goes to snooping, because they do go snooping, that they're not going to find anything too jarring to where you can't get hired. Dating women these days is the same way. So they are looking. So clean your stuff up. Thanks for listening to the Introvert Dating Success Podcast. Visit us at introvertdatingsuccess.com for more great tips on attracting women using your natural introvert charm. Oh, yeah.